Yeah. All right, hey, listen. I got Naughty over here. Jay London here. Just got done watching Insecure. What you think about it? I think that was a pretty good episode. That's it? Just a pretty good episode? I mean, I think it was a good depiction of, like, how Issa had to calm herself down after the big argument. She had like, you need that day or two. A day or two? At least. Uh, mm. You don't think so? so? I mean, I think that she was, I think that Molly was fucked up for her, but I think Molly told the truth. And so now she has to come in turn. That's what I felt this whole episode was, was her trying to process the truth that she's a user. No. No? I feel like this episode was about how Molly fucked her head up, calling her a user. So now she feel bad. And she so you don't, think she was a, you don't think she was a user? She couldn't even... <laughs> anyway, just because she's a disadvantaged friend does not make her use it. Well, for the pre from the previous for the next episode, it seems like Molly living her best life on the next episode with Asian Bay, Andrew. That don't mean she's not wrong in the situation. Who like what? What's 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 Issa's point of view? What's 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 wrong about it? Molly started all that shit at Issa's event. Your best friend Issa's event. It was the end of the event, first of all. So that people need. But to it leave. was like a petty argument that you like made into a big deal at sh- my event. It was a build up that had been building up for four seasons. I'm still not agreeing of why Molly was even mad that Issa asked Nate to ask Andrew. Like she didn't involve Molly. Which is what she asked. Because it was Molly's man. And she already wasn't talking to her. They were already kinda of having a little little fisty cuffs because um Issa just thinks that Molly's supposed to automatically jump and do what she wants her to do. Think about the phone call when she called and was like, oh, thank you, best friend. I knew, like, yo, do you just assume that I'm going to do some fucking shit? Like, her best friend, she used to her doing it. It's her fault because she used to you coming through for her. That's not, like, and sometimes you don't come through. Sometimes you can't come through. And now that's you're the, the bad difference. friend. That's the difference here. Sometimes you can't come through. Molly chose not to come through because she was mad. She finally chose through. herself a little bit and wanted to make sure her relationship was good instead of Worrying about Issa for like the hundredth time. I don't see how this favor was gonna. Do I mean, Mo, I mean, hey, maybe Molly did think that. Oh, you got Condola now. You don't need me. Where the fuck Condola at? Who's Jealousy. supposed? Who's supposed to get you this headliner? Who you was moving into the best friend spot? What about that? that because last time I checked, Condola wasn't there, and Schoolboy Q pulled out the damn um as the headliner. That's but that headliner connect came from Condola, which means Condola didn't handle her business. That's why when other bitches play, I should be able to count on my real bitch. But you just put this bitch in front of me, right? She did not. She yes, she did. Well, she didn't invite them, but she wanted Molly to eat lunch with her. I didn't. Did I ask you that? You run that, clear that shit with me. Clear my. Wait, what the hell? Because I was Molly wanted to talk about her relationship with Andrew and whatever she was feeling with, and Issa wasn't there for her the whole fucking first five episodes. But you still want Molly to do shit for you. What's up? Come on, let's get it. What? You gonna take Molly's side regardless? Like, I'm not gonna Molly take Molly's side. Like, not, I do agree. Not been that bad of a friend where Molly can't ask. Yeah, but everybody asked. The, the man said it was a quick email. Like, it didn't take him a lot. To yeah, do. but we were all. Everybody's already established that Molly gets her own head, right? So while uh, Molly's trying to make like do better with these relationships, like she decided that she didn't want to try to set, be like a user for a dude that she's kind of on Rocky with. She's trying to make this relationship good. So she felt like that would have been something that, even though it wasn't, she felt like it would be something that was going to put a wedge between her and Andrew. So she chose her relationship this time. And she thought maybe her friend would understand. She did understand. That's why she went around Molly to ask Andrew. Nah, because then she stopped, but then, then she stopped talking to Molly. Like they, She pretty much like, I don't even fuck with her like that. I'm continuously. Exactly. Like, what have you done for me this today? This is your whole event. Like, she... Fuck your event. Like... See, that's not right. It, well, it's not right that you that Issa called her from, I'm trying to work on this, this lawsuit so I can get a promotion or uh, show myself to the partner, but you want me to go to damn Coachella, Coachella to make you feel better. Like, what the fuck? Like, Issa always fucking asking Molly to fucking step out of her world to come down to her and fucking deal with her, massage her fucking ego and her fucking um, emotions. And the one time Molly chooses herself, yes, I agree. Like, it was bad timing at the event, but that's the way that shit, time shit happened. Like, shit exposed. So what you think about Molly sitting at the bar 
laughing on her phone. I think that that she was at one of their favorite eating spots because it's still a good eating spot. I ain't gonna start going to my favorite spot because we had a fight. What the fuck wrong with you? So my whole thing is okay. Why not? Uh, it's just regular, like it's regular, regular. I could be looking at a damn meme. She could, she probably just got a text from her dude, like, "Yo, I found something funny." Like, you thought my life stopped just because of you? That's fucking arrogant as hell. That's bar. arrogant as hell. You and so, so you be on East side think, "Oh my God, she's looking at her phone and she's smiling. She's not thinking about me. I she's mean, not texting about me." Like, y'all ain't dating, are you? I'm not. Y'all ain't lovers, right? I'm not saying Molly Wong was being at the bar laughing on her phone, but you can see why Issa felt that way in that moment. Here I am depressed. I'm having, having badass days because of what happened you know what, us. You know what the show showed me is that she ain't got nobody in her corner. The only person she had was Molly, and she leaned on Molly way too much until the relationship broke. That's what it says to me. Like, you got rid of your dude because you cheated on him. You fucked up with Daniel. Nathan just looks like a flake. It seems like a flake, but whatever. He's here. And Condola left your ass high and dry. Kelly and Tiffany are really best friends. They're there. You're not even answering her phone call. And you ain't got nobody to talk to. That's why you find ran to your mama. Like, you ain't got nobody. Like, that's why you bored as fucking home. That's why you can't do shit with self-care um, Sunday. That's why you getting played by these hoes from out of town. Like, and you too cowardly to even uh, confront them or whatever. Like, you, she, Issa don't ever confront nobody but Molly because you know Molly love her and care about her. Nah, Molly be coming for her. That's why she's Issa be coming for Molly. Issa be coming for Molly, but she Rude don't be, as fuck, no, too. but she don't actually be meaning it just because she yes, she do. Her personality and say little shady stuff. Like I don't think it's intentionally hurtful. It is. Whereas when Molly that's what, say shit, she says it to like. It, 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 that's it, even it. worse because you you're so self-absorbed that you don't even see what what you say hurt your friends. Her personality, like that. Then you have just, a fucked up she, personality. Some people just have a way of saying fucked up shit, but you know they don't mean it. No, Molly doesn't know that she don't mean it. That's the whole problem. And you as as Issa, you should be able to pick up your friend what, what hurt your friend's feelings or not. And she hasn't done it for the whole you four seasons. You also know when your friend has like a dark or twisted sense of humor and she says stuff out of place and that's just how she is. They've been friends for how long now? Yeah, and, and, and at some point you have to tell your friend, yo, you got to fucking chill. But it's just weird that Molly is always offended by Issa. Issa is rarely offended by Molly. And Molly, like Molly wants her to be offended. Issa, Molly throws Issa, the, Issa couldn't even take the little comment. Like when, Issa, when Molly said, yo, Issa, uh, your life doesn't always have to be this messy. She got her feelings so hurt. Because no one had told her how her life was messy. How do you not know? She don't see it that way. That's my point. She Even got, the way the show is written, it she doesn't got, seem she like got blinders Issa's on. life is actually messy. Maybe because she's the protagonist. I think that's what all women, I think all women think that they're the protagonist, so they all just have these blinders on that their life is messy. Everybody else is, is and everybody else should cater to them. And that's why Issa character is really messy. And that's why I don't feel too bad about what Molly did. Like, I think it was a fucked up time place to do it. Well, unfortunately, you popped off at her. You didn't think you was going to get popped back off. So that's the problem. Like, because she popped off at Molly. If you didn't want it to be to escalate, then you should have backed down too. But you didn't, it was no back down to Issa. Why the hell Molly got back down? Because she don't feel like she did anything wrong. Then, and neither does Molly. No matter what, no matter how we feel about it, the Molly character does not feel like she did anything wrong. That's what you were feeling to realize. So everybody putting the blame on Molly. It's your event. It's your job to worry about your event. I don't got to worry about shit. I'm right here supporting you and you don't fuck with me. You ain't been talking to me. And now you want to start popping off? She haven't talked about Like, I won't beat your ass? Is this because she uh, disregarded the talk on Thanksgiving that her and Molly was supposed to have? Disregarded the, the talk on Thanksgiving when she came in on the first episode and she found that Andrew was still, like, kind of dating and she was trying to talk to Molly and Molly just dismissed her. Then um, when she was trying to talk to her at dinner about Andrew or lunch, she brought Condola into the situation. I feel like Issa feels like Molly is like it's you know pretty always okay, and the only time. But you got but you rag her Molly. but you rag her about relationship, and when she's trying to talk to you about the relationship, the whole season up to the blow up, you brushing her off the because whole it season. Feels like nothing is wrong with this relationship except for stuff that Molly does. Like she sabotages the relationship. Like it's nothing to talk about if you could stop doing the shit that you're doing. That's not true. I mean, we've been over the relationship before. The one with Drew, he's in an open marriage. She ain't got to stay in that relationship. The one with Jared, she thought the dude might be gay and she didn't want to have a gay dude. She didn't want to be thinking about that. But he told her he wasn't gay. That's cool, but she didn't want to be thinking about I'll that. I'll give her a little bit, but... It was okay, the one with all boy, the lawyer from Chicago, she she took the job. She kept the job in L.A. She's not going to be flying back to Chicago. That fizzled out. Well, 
right? Uh, Lionel, that dude, uh, he was just like her. He was a checklist dude. So she realized that she kind of was like that, which helped her growth and development. And now she fucked with Andrew and trying to make it work. Her, all her breakups are actually pretty legitimate. How On she responds, outside, but, but how she Lord, responds sucks. Yeah. Right. Whereas, what's Issa's excuse? All the things that did what's, go wrong. What's, what's Issa's excuse for all her fucked up relationships that she tricked off? You don't got no excuse. Why Issa? If you gonna fuck up your relationship, why her career fucks and suck? Well, she's restarting. Yeah, she seemed like a restarting hoe. Always on the restart. Always on the new hustle. Like, get out of here, bro. So, whatever. This whole... Listen. What is it? Season 4, Episode 6. My review of it is that this is Issa having to take accountability for herself and really take into account what Molly said and really evaluate whether or not she is a user. And she's a user. You know she's a user because she's a bro. Like, she couldn't even pay for the little scammer girl stuff at the shopping mart. Her card is blind. So, but it's the thought that counts. It ain't no thought, bro. You, bro, I, See, I, you just again, you judging Issa because she's more unfortunate than Molly. Uh, because unfortunate, she, because like she's a broke friend. That means no. Listen, is her fault. The, my friends will make more money she than me. She hard. Like she still works. Who? She can't help that she broke. Who I mean, hurt? I know she can help it, but it's not like she's just a bomb who like be literally. Sleeping on people's couches and not working. Wasn't that the she whole? Kept, wasn't has, that the whole premise of season three? Yeah, but she started working again. Like Actually, she, she started herself. sleeping on Molly's couch in season one. But she always keeps moving. I'm saying it's not like she just. She'll lazy. Hope She's not lazy. She'll hope like hope. she still goes to work. I'll give her that. She just paid as much as Molly. She's just she's just all over. She's she's all over the place, and she wants everybody to be accept her being all over the place. But at thirty. Well, she's getting stable. She got a nice apartment now. She's yeah, she don't even do that job that well. She really sucks. I feel like this season really is about Issa getting better, like growing as a person, as a grown 30 year old person. Hey, you know, everybody don't do it at the same time, but there's growth there. I'll give you this that. This episode was growth. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Mm. This episode was blah blah. It was blah blah. It was a little blah, but yeah, it was blah. In like, real life, those days are necessary. It happens like that. In real life, it's just showing me that she didn't have shit to do with herself. That usually she calling on Molly to have drinks with her and go eat with her and, and fall in the bear bill on Molly. Even when she went to like I forgot what season it is, it was at the drive thru. And she was like, Let me get the cheeseburger meal and you can get whatever you want because you're paying for it. Like, that's that's their relationship though. No, it's that's that's let me help you out. It's from a man to a woman. That shit never feels good. So you should, no woman should ever, no person should ever feel like that's just a relationship. That makes you a user. You a taker. It's a burger. Like if you want rich friend, then I'm a cowboy. It's not. Always. You know. That's why rich. That's why they Buy leave. Fast that. Food. That's why they fast leave. Food. That's why they leave their poor friends behind because they don't want to <laughs> always feel like they gotta I pay. I feel like that shit trash. I feel you. But I just said Molly never has spoke against that. So it's not yeah, everything part. everything that's blew up. Have. She finally did. She waited too long. What is it? Season what? Four. Four. And that because that up? because every time Molly was mad at her, Issa was like, "Girl, you still mad?" And you just come on, girl. Like because you know you fucked so up. So why is it bad for Issa to want Molly to call her one time this season after a big blow up that Molly kind of called? Uh, I, think, I still I like think, Molly. Like Kelly's still talking about. Oh, you need to call. Um, I, why? Maybe she's not why ready. Just, she just hey, listen. Just like I think you told me that Issa walked away like a coward from that restaurant and didn't confront Molly. Didn't confront Molly, right? Maybe Molly's not ready to talk to Issa. Why I gotta talk? See, that's the thing. Let's reverse this. Why I gotta talk when you want to talk? Why I reconcile when you want to reconcile? So since you said that Issa, um, always was the one reaching out, it's because she was the lonely one. She was the one who had fucked up, and she was the one who wanted to reconcile. Everything was still in Issa's time. My, it's on Molly's time now. That's a good point. So why? Yeah, I don't have to call you. Like she we, should soon though. Why? Like after a week. She about to be with Asian Bay. Y'all best friends. She going on vacation. Are, these are best friends. These not just like a casual friend group. Like they cool. Like they are the best friends of the friend group. It's not uh, supposed to happen like that. It's not. And this episode also. So we're showing the perspectives about how friendships break up versus when you keep going. And y'all find a way to still get along after the big breakup. No, sometimes and you need to gotta decide which way she's gonna go. Like is this just the end? Or is this I mean if it if it's the end, it's Issa's loss. 
What's, what's Molly losing? What Molly losing? gonna do? What Molly losing? Her and Drew mess up because you know it's gonna happen. It's wow, like, wow, you Molly sound just like Issa. And, and Issa can't keep a career or a nigga. So what? <laughs> but don't act like Molly don't need Issa like at all. Like Issa just needs Molly. I'm just I'm not saying it. I thought it was a it was a mutual part. They say that that Molly was the career driven. She had her shit together financially. So that's the advice that she gave to Issa. Issa's job was to give her good relationship advice because she was with Lawrence for five years. You the relationship friend, right? You failed in your duty in season four. You failed. You blew her off. You never talked to her about it. You gave her bullshit ass advice. You failed as a friend. And then you got blown up at, now your feelings hurt. Mind you, I still agree with everybody. It was a bad time to have the blow up. But once more, if you cared about your event, you wouldn't have been beefing with fucking Molly out there. You would have walked away like a grown up. But you ain't no grown up. You childish. So that's my review of the whole episode. You got more to say? You out of this? Hopefully they can hear you. No, wait, am I done? All right, yeah. So if you like this, <laughs> hit the like button. <laughs> Subscribe. Uh, if you like, if you listen to the podcast, check out the Geeks and Goons podcast. Check out my other homegirl at the Oh Yes Man podcast. And uh, I got to get my other homegirl's YouTube channel who does insecure reviews. I'll let you know. Put the description at the bottom. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>